Hi, I am Mr. Morrison and welcome to my channel. In this video today, I will be sharing with you how you can migrate a SQL Server database to an Azure database using the Database Migration Assistant. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video is that the other day I was doing a migration from SQL Server to an Azure database and I kept on getting the exception SQL Server out of memory, even with like 40% free memory available. So the solution was to use a data migration assistant tool which I will be sharing with you in this video. So without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. If you have not yet downloaded the data migration assistant, you can do that from the Microsoft's website. So once you have completed the download and installation, just select the plus icon, specify your project name and you have the option to do an assessment are a straight migration so when you do an assessment it will tell you if your database is ready to do a migration or whatever corrections you need to make in order to make your database ready to be migrated so i'm just going to select migration my source is a sql server my my target is azure sql database and the migration scope will be schema and data you have the option to do schema only as well as data only. So once you have specified all the information, select create. For your server name, specify your authentication type. You have SQL Server Authentication, Windows Authentication, Active Directory Integration Authentication, as well as you have Active Directory Password Authentication. Uncheck Encrypted, Uncheck Encrypt Connection and then select connect so these are the two databases which are currently on my server so let's expand it's adventure works and the demo database a very important thing to note is that in order to migrate the databases you have to create the database on the remote server the scripts won't automatically create it for you now when so ensure that when you're creating the database they have the same collation because if you don't, it's going to fail. So on the remote server, create your database and it will be using the default collation. Select OK. So once the database is created, we can just validate the collation. So they are the same, so we can proceed to the next step. Select the database that you want to migrate, which is the AdventureWorks 2019 and select Next. Now you need to specify your server name. Now you need to specify the server name. So I'm just going to head over to Management Studio and grab the database name. And the authentication type is SQL Server. Specify your credentials. And check encrypted connection and select connect. Then select the database you want to migrate to and select next. Now it's going to prepare the schemas from your source database that will be migrated to the target database. Now here you see a list of objects and schemas that will be created. So if you don't want to migrate all of these schemas and objects, then you can uncheck them. So for example, I don't want the sales schema then i can uncheck it the next step is to generate sql script now this is going to generate a script that will be executed on the remote server that will create your database structure so this is a preview of the scripts that will be executed on the remote database Let's deploy schema so all this is doing now is creating the schema on objects on the remote database once the schemas are deployed, select Migrate Data. Now this is an overview of all the tables and the amount of rows they contain that will be migrated. Once you are comfortable with all the tables that you want to be migrated, then you select Start Migration. Now this is an excellent way to migrate database if you want to migrate just a few tables during your migration process. Now you can monitor the status as the data is being transferred. So as you can see on the dashboard here, it tells you how much objects we have in total, how much is in progress, how many successfully transferred, and if you have any warnings and how many failed. 
and the duration of your migration is dependent on the size of the database you are migrating. So the migration is complete. 71 successful. So let's go to our Azure SQL Server and let's validate that. So let's refresh, expand. Now we can see all of our tables. There are all the tables that were in our database. Now we can take a look at the database monitor and we saw where it spiked at 415 to complete the migration. So that's pretty much it for now guys. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.